With the last batch of Nations League games coming up in a couple of weeks, I thought we'd take a quick look at the most capped players in the Faroe Islands and who's on the outskirts of making it into the all-time greats list. The Nations League allows for the Faroe Islands to play more games competitively, but never qualifying for a major tournament plus only being able to collect official caps since 1992 does bring down the overall numbers somewhat, but nevertheless, let's look at the top 10 most capped Faroese players. Out of everyone on this list, Helsingborg's Vilyoma Davidson has the fewest appearances in the Faroese League, with three. He was born in Runewig, but only played a handful of games for his local side NSOI and spent most of his career in Denmark, including a nine-year stint at Velje, twice winning promotion to the Danish Superliga. Davidson has scored three goals in his 60 international caps, including the record-breaking fifth goal in the Faroe Islands' biggest ever win against Liechtenstein in 2021. The current B36 manager Jakob Aborg racked up 61 caps in a career split between playing for Torsound rivals B36 and HB, and one appearance in Denmark for Adens. He scored two goals on the international stage, both friendlies, both at Svangerskar, both 3-2 wins against Kazakhstan and Malta. Former Hull City midfielder Julian Jonsson played for the national team for 11 years, picking up 62 caps and scoring four goals. One of these was at Hampton Park in Glasgow, scoring against Scotland in a 3-1 loss in Euro 2004 qualifying. As well as Hull, he played for B36, HB and B68 and was last seen managing Svenborg in the Danish 3rd Division. The first of three goalkeepers on this list and arguably the most famous. Known for his bobble hat, he was in the very first recognised Faroese squad in 1988 and kept a clean sheet on his debut, beating Canada 1-0. He also played in the 1989 and 1991 Island Games, but of course none of those matches count towards official caps. So his total begins in 1992 when the Faroe Islands got their FIFA membership and was in the squad to draw 1-1 with Austria in their first official game. He played his final match in 2006, a 4-0 defeat to Poland, almost 20 years after his first. On to the, we are flying through these, on to the current number one, Gunnar Nielsen, who currently plays in Iceland for FH. At various times he was on the books of multiple English teams, including Blackburn Rovers, Wrexham, Tranmere Rovers and Manchester City, where he became the first and so far only Faroese player in the English Premier League. He made his international debut in a friendly against Iceland in 2009, and with 68 caps at the age of 35 he'll get a few more in before calling it a day. Staying in Iceland, KR's Halla Hansen is next up. He played one season with HB and one for Vojtinga, but most of his career has been spent in Iceland and Denmark. He did play one game for Aberdeen at an early age after being spotted at the Aberdeen International Football Festival, you know the one, along with fellow Faroese footballer Gilly Rollinson. Halla has scored five international goals, three of which have come in Faroese wins against Gibraltar, Malta and famously against Greece in front of a roaring Faroese crowd. He is currently 30 years old and probably has a few more years on the international scene ahead of him. With 73 appearances between the sticks, Mikkelsen is the most experienced goalkeeper in the Faroes. Domestically, he was the first Faroese player to win a league title in a foreign country after playing all but two games in her full surprise Danish title win in 2000. A few years later, he would find himself at Partick Thistle in Scotland, but only played a handful of games. In 2010, he signed for OEF at the age of 40, and of course at that age, your career slows down, which is why he only went on to play another 118 games. He played his final game just short of his 47th birthday in 2016 and kept a clean sheet. The highest player on this list still playing, Edmondson plays in Belgium for Beveren and has 75 international appearances. He was picked up by Newcastle United at a young age and while he didn't get any game time for the Magpies, he did make a few appearances for nearby northeast neighbours Gateshead. A few years later he joined Armenia Bielefeld in Germany where he won promotion and became the first Faroese player to play and score in the Bundesliga. In his 75 caps he scored 7 goals, including the other famous win against Greece. Oli Johannesson played for the national team between 1992 and 2007 and has spent most of his career with his local club TB. Aside from 5 years playing in Denmark for Aarhus and... Lidor. Oh, come on Danish. And, and those guys. His playing career has been in the Faroes. 
He made his last first team appearance back in 2014, but turned out for TB2 in 2020 at the ripe old age of 48. He scored one international goal, one of the Faroese two in a 2-2 draw against Estonia in 1996. Freyi Benjaminsson spent almost 20 years on the international scene and sits a long way clear at the top of the caps charts. Apart from one season with Fram Reykjavik in Iceland, his whole career has been spent in the Faroe Islands, playing for B68, B36, HB Volchinga, NSI Runewig and his current team Scala. He hasn't played for the first team of Scala since 2019, but at 44 years old he's still on their books and made reserve team appearances last season. Internationally, he scored 6 goals in his 95 caps, which isn't terrible for a defender of a small nation. His last cap was in 2018, a 1-0 defeat to Hungary in World Cup qualifying. Helsingborg's Brander Hendriksen is in a good position to enter this list next, sitting on 50 caps at the age of 26, but current international Sol Vertenhammer, aged 36, needs just one more cap to tie with Davidson on 60. If you listed all the players with the most caps for their nation in numerical order, Benjaminsson wouldn't get into the top 100, so it could be argued 95 is quite low for a record holder. Compared to, say, Anders Svensson, 143 for Sweden, Michael Mifsud, 142 for Malta, or Bada Al Murtawa, 196 for Kuwait and counting. But remember, international football in the Faroes really got going in 1992, so there's plenty of catch up to be done. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.